right, welcome back to Chris's Corner and another season of the Star Wars Hallmark Keepsake Ornament Collection. I was going to wait for this one, but I wanted to get it done right away because I really want to see what it looks like on the tree. Today we're going to be replacing the old one for the new one. So let's pull the new one forward and we'll do a comparison just to see what the difference is all right here we are i've got the boxes side by side i'm having to hold the camera here because the boxes are big and it was kind of hard to get the right angle on the table but as you can see by the boxes original one this year's it's like three times the size of the original one. It's going to be massive on the tree. And the differences for the controllers. This one had the Imperial symbol. And this one has Darth Vader's saber, I believe. Now, the video that I had made for the original, I made the complaint that you couldn't hook this one up to the storytellers. Well, they fixed that for this one. But in fixing that, they also brought out an entirely new line of storytellers. The A New Hope line of storytellers. Now, I have opened this up already. Spoiler. Just to find out what the different technology is. This one just gets connected with a... Um, Hallmark magic cord and doesn't connect to any of the storytellers that had come out the following year. This one gets powered up, but from what I understand, it doesn't wire connect to the storytellers that have come out with this one this year. It's almost like Bluetooth because when you read the instructions, it says it when it first powers on, it listens for the other ornaments. And I guess once it registers the other ornaments, it connects up and, and plays along with them. Now, the ornaments themselves, I don't think I've got one back here. The ornaments themselves, this one's the Obi-Wan, they do get hooked up to the power cord. So, I'm not too sure yet how that technology works. Once I get it up on the tree, or I may put them out here on the table and just do a dry run before we get them on the tree, just to figure out how they work. But let's crack open the box. I may have to put the camera down just to get them out of the box, just to show the size differences. So hang tight. All right, and I'm back. As you can see, I've got the original one sitting here. And it's got the power cord connector here. You just put the power into there. Never really hooked up to anything at all during that season's ornaments that came out. Like I said, it just worked on its own. But you ready for this? Here is the new one. It's massive just huge it looks like there's I thought there was a speaker in the top I guess not it's got your speaker in the bottom your power and you put the uh, tree stem support in here and there's the infrared detector for the uh, remote control so I'll back these up a bit and I'll bring in the bag that has everything else in it. So I have not opened this yet. So here is the little remote. And I'll get the batteries in it. It is Darth Vader's lightsaber. And it comes with the 
tree stand or tree support stand that gets velcroed to the top of the tree and then you put the this end in to hold the Death Star on top of the tree and of course your power cord and that's it there's no magic cord to this as far as I know it's just this and away it goes so give me another minute here and I'll see if I can get this plugged in and then I'll pull one of the other ornaments out as a little spoiler teaser for one of the next videos and we'll plug it in and see if we can figure out how to pair it because the instructions do say your tree topper will light up and make a loud humming sound it is listening to hear oh here comes the cat for you it will listen to hear the other products in this collection are nearby to pair so got to try this and apparently bell is here to help us along as well i'll be right back all right i've gone and plugged in the power cords you can see them running in behind here i've played through them once myself just to figure out how to set it up and how it works <clears throat> i think i've got it figured out um you do need to plug in the ornaments first i believe and we'll do that and you can see the lights light up and then wait for it toss will be with you and it's got itself set up now i believe and it should shut off Or just remain in that state. I believe now I can plug in the tree topper and it'll turn the lights on the ornament green. It's pairing. There is not a cord connecting between the tree topper and the ornament and it's ready to go. Now, I did put the batteries in. I'm going to hit the button. I'm going to end up muting the sound because it does play the Star Wars theme and I don't want to demonetize this video. So if it gets quiet here for a minute, I may dub over it with my voice to let you know what's going on here. Um, I believe it will go through the theme song first and then it will bring in the ornament of Obi-Wan here and they'll interact together and it's a speaking part so you should be able to hear what's going on once I bring the audio back up. It should Obi play through. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. Stop that ship! Blast them!
All right, so that was it. Uh, it does go through a shorter version of the Star Wars theme at the end once Obi-Wan has done talking. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the tree topper on the tree and then we'll go ahead and we'll make some other videos of the ornaments themselves. There's Obi-Wan here and there's a 3PO and R2 and a Luke. Uh, just based on some of the stuff that Obi-Wan says, there's probably going to be a Han Solo and a Chewbacca next year or a Princess Leia. Um, so, I'll meet you at the tree and we'll see how the tree topper looks on top. And like I said, it's three times as big as the original. So, it should be quite the feature at the top of the tree. We'll see you there. All right, welcome to the tree. This is the tree for 2021. And as we pan up the screen, the tree here, we'll come to this year's new Death Star tree topper. A very cool tree topper. It interacts now with the new storytellers and it is a very large tree topper. It's three times as big as the last tree topper. But we have also got on the tree the storytellers of Obi-Wan. And R2 and 3PO. And Luke. There's Luke. So I'm going to set up this camera and just let it play through the entire scene. And I'll edit out the music. And that way you'll be able to see everything or listen to everything that happens between the ornaments and the tree topper. Be right back. All right, here we go. You may not be able to see these up close, but you'll be able to hear everything.
I think it is time we demonstrated the full power of this station. Set your course for Alderman. there you have it that's the entire walkthrough and as a little bit of a info extra this is the old tree topper ornament button I, I went over and hit the button on 3PO you can use the um, lightsaber but the old one works with the tree too So if you lose one, you've got a backup. Um, I'm not sure how this would work if you were to have two trees in the same room running off the same signal. I've got the old one on a table <clears throat> in the room here and I haven't plugged it in yet because I'm a little leery of having them both go off at the same time. Who knows, maybe it'll synchronize and they'll be in stereo. <laughs> anyway. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified when new videos are released. And leave any comments you have down below. The one thing I always question is how to display the story talk tellers. Do you group them together? Do you spread them out over the tree? Or do you put them on a mantle? Let me know what you do. Have a good day.